back in Nigeria is a very big day for the State Oil Corporation, the NNPC, today officially transformed into NNPC Limited by shares as a private commercial organization under the Companies and Allied Masters Act. Let's check in with one of the industry analysts, Idris Arua, for his first word on this major development in the Nigerian oil and gas industry and the economy as a whole. Uh, Idris joining me live from our Abuja studio. So good evening to you, sir. Thank you very much for coming to. Let's uh, discover in what ways do you think what happened today would change how the NNPC operates and how it impacts the wider oil and gas industry in Nigeria? Thank you very much. Good evening. Uh, the NNPC, with what has happened today, we transform into a limited liability company that will now operate under the Company and Ally Matter Act 2020. With this move, the NNPC has completely shed off the toga of uh, government ownership and interference and now wears a new look and operate like a limited liability company. It also means that all the assets and liability of the corporation have been transferred to NNPC Limited. Now, the interference from the Federal Executive Council, the National Assembly and this committee are no longer necessary because the CAMA has set up uh, a guideline for governance and increase in the uh, transparency of all public companies. NNPC will become commercially oriented and uh, profit-driven national petroleum. The record books of NNPC will be open. Uh, for instance, for now, NNPC is now is also has become a member of the Global uh, Extractive uh, uh, Industries Transparency Initiative, which will be NNPC books are now open. NNPC will operate like uh, Aramco of Saudi Arabia, Total Energy, Chevron, and Shell Petroleum. NNPC will become the hub of operations in the oil and gas industry that will attract global investment and uh, ensure that there's good return on investment. Uh, and then NNPC will pay taxes to the government, for instance. Yes, it's good. NNPC in 2021 is the highest tax paying body to the to, to, to Federal Republic of Nigeria. Th that sounds really good. Th 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 those and this will continue very... much more. Yes, uh, I think the what folks will, on the street would like to know right now is that how will this move impact on the life of ordinary or average Nigerians on the street? Yes, in the provision of the Petroleum Industry Act 2021, NNPC's major responsibility is to provide energy security for Nigerians. And by energy security, I mean energy is supposed to make available petroleum resources, uh, such as PMS, AGU, gas, and, uh, and uh, diesel. And beyond that, NNPC is also meant to facilitate uh, other products, other energy resources like electricity and even renewable energy. To achieve this goal, NSPC Limited, which had already been incorporated in September 2021 uh, by, by the CAC uh, with a, a 200 billion naira uh, cap, initial capital base, which is the highest in the history of Nigeria, has already started investing in uh, what you call reapplication reconstruction of the Portaco refinery uh, has taken a stake in the Dangote refinery, a stake in the new African petroleum uh, refinery in, in Portaco, and also uh, provided incentive for modular refinery like the was Tasmin refinery in Oweri. With all these, NFC target is that by 2024, cumulatively, we should be able to have a production of about 900, above 900,000 barrels per day. Because if you look at uh, our consumption uh, demand, the local consumption demand for now, it was put at uh, 73.5 million liters per day uh, as at April 2022, which is uh, about 616,000 barrels per day. So with NNPC producing over 900 
and NIPC and all other private uh, uh, refineries, which NIPC have massive investment in, producing over 900 uh, barrels per day, 1,000 barrels per day, will ensure that NIPC will not only have zero dependency on the importation of refined oil, like it's been done presently, NIPC will have access to export to other countries. Okay, so I, I'm interested in, in why the what the the, the, the if, uh, yeah just just sorry just a quick one because we've got a very, now with this uh, sorry sir let me to, let me conclude this yes please oh, okay yeah no, I just want to conclude that with that there will be enough so energy sufficiency and the issue of uh, what do you call it a subsidy might go away and uh, the Nigerians will be better for it. Okay, so the issue of, uh, of uh, value additions and bringing the private sector into it, it all goes down to the national, uh, the, na the bottom line, which is the revenue base of, of the government. So, so let's conclude on that note. What are your thoughts? What's your outlook on that? Now, now, yeah, NMPC is invested in the private sector to encourage other global investors to put their money into the oil and gas industry. And NLP is not just invest, it's invest in value additive, which is the refining of the crude oil to petroleum, which is really the, 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 the base of Nigeria energy for now. And with that, energy also will boost its own revenue because there are profits coming from these various uh, uh, private sector refinery that NMPC is investing in. And apart from that profit, and if you have a seat at the table and be able to direct those companies to meet first the Nigeria local demand before we talk about reaching out and, pro and the profit element of the industry. So the focus of NNPC is to achieve this by 2026. And apart from that, energy is also investing in massive transnational gas projects. Okay. So that the, and creating mm. an energy transition from petrol to gas to bridge the gap, and with that, right. uh, you can see the the, the AKK, the Escravot Lagos pipeline. You can see the uh, OB3 project. All these I expect to come online uh, you know, so, so by 2024, ending. Okay, so, so what we're doing today is to raise the curtain on this conversation. It's a very big day for Nigeria, nearly four decades of the NNPC into that transformation. So this is what you call a curtain raiser, the first world. Thank you so much for your time tonight on the show. Idris Arua, Energy Markets Analyst, Thank you live from Abuja Studios. Much.